We're going to turn this 12 inch toy boat, bathtub boat, pool boat, into a fast electric RC boat. The mini mono here, 12 inches of pure power. <laughs> it's a little jet pump boat. Check it out. I mean, look at the lines on this thing, huh? That's a nice looking little ride. Yeah, we're going to fill in the holes here with some mill putt putty. We're going to fill in this jet pump hole. We're going to kind of blueprint this out. We're going to cut the fins off eventually. Fill the hole. Airplane motor mounts from the back. We're going to make us a motor mount. Run our flex cable through. A little strut we're going to make. I've actually started the rudder. Look at that. I got a start on it. <laughs> ah, yeah, micro rudder. <laughs> it's gonna hang way off the back. <laughs> yeah, have some fun with this little thing, huh? <laughs> All right, so I've got some mill putt putty here. We're gonna get mixed up, and I'm just gonna fill in this hole. We'll let it sit overnight. Got a hurricane tomorrow, a little uh, tropical storm. Won't be doing much of nothing. So uh, maybe it's a one day build, huh? Maybe we can make it a one day build, possibly. Let's go ahead and get the mill putt putty mixed up. Ever since I found this little boat, man, I, I've been waiting. I've just been like kind of collecting stuff. I bought this ESC for a foam airplane that I was trying to fly, but I'm a boat guy. I'm not an airplane dude. I, I don't know how to make an airplane fly. <laughs> so I'm going to make, I'm going to use it. Since it's just laying around, not doing anything, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it on the boat. If it if it blows up, hell, it's twenty bucks. What? Ah, I burnt twenty dollars before. <laughs> Burn it again. <laughs> Twenty-seven. that's the only thing I really like bought specific for this build and piano wire drive micro rudder that I'm working on building right now for the boat a little stuffing tube and uh, the only thing I don't like about this build is, is the aviation ESC I can't get it to work correctly with a pistol grip remote I'm going to have to use a micro zone remote for it Alright, so it's all cured out. It's hard as a rock. I'm going to use this rasp to kind of take it all down to the hole and uh, get it cleaned up. And then we'll kind of use a file and sandpaper to finish it off. I'm going to get it all taken down level with the hole. leveled out I used a rasp then 60 then 80 120 and then emery cloth to kind of polish it up I'm starting to take the the battery box out on the motor mount I was gonna make it out of plastic but it kept breaking when I bent it even when I heated it up so aluminum I'll be able to kind of adjust the motor mount 
back and forth once I get it glued into the boat. So I'm gonna cut it off. I got little tabs bent so I can JB weld them in. I'm not real familiar with working with plastic, so probably kind of cut an X out of it. Kind of trace this motor mount on there and just kind of cut an X. Cut down on weight as much as I can. All right, so I've got everything kind of dry fitted in the mini mono. Got our stuffing tube run, temporary dry fit. Dry fitted the servo in between these little tabs and the old battery uh, hold down. I've got our motor kind of connected to the stuffing tube here. Our motor mount that I made from a piece of aluminum. Got to drill some epoxy dam holes. Basically going to uh, JB plastic weld it into the boat. But that should work for a motor mount right there like so. I've got a rudder that we're working on. Going to hang off the back right there. Kind of go together like that. We're about to weld it up. And uh, and yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. it's coming out actually better than I thought. Hopefully it will perform as expected. Hopefully it will. I doubt it, but <laughs> it's going to be worth a shot. So I got my rudder blade ready to be uh, welded. I'm going to weld the seam right here and right here. It's a two-part rudder blade. Kind of notched it out on the bottom and on the top. So I'm just going to run a little bead of luma weld right down that seam and uh oh yeah we got to have an arm we need an arm for it <laughs> so we're gonna put it on a rudder bracket i've got a pin ready to be dropped in boom Mm. And go on the boat like that. Oh, it's gonna be cool, y'all. Oh, it's gonna be cool. Drill a little tiny hole and do a Z-bend on my steering rod. And I think I'm just gonna drill a hole in this. Stick the rod in it. PVC, plastic, metal, iron, copper, brass, aluminum. So, uh, so I think I'm going to use this, and it's actually pretty light. Let's get the motor mount mounted up into the boat. Got the motor in. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna use the top two bolts for the for the motor mount. I got it hooked up to the collet here. Stuff into with the 1427 on it. Huh. Yeah. Alright, so now I'm working on the servo mount. I got this super thin piece of aluminum that I've just uh kind of wedge the servo in between those screws that weren't being used and I'm just going to kind of screw them in and that'll hold the servo in place. I got the servo mounted up there. 
I got the arm installed. I used a spray can straw for my through hole. <laughs> Worked pretty good. Just a little wire hooking up the rudder to the servo. Because of space, I had to cut down the servo arm quite a bit. But it's actually plenty of throw. I'll, I'll show you guys in just a few minutes. But got the rudder all polished up. Turned out pretty good. I actually double sided taped my ESC down. Got the everything's installed. The Microzone RX is up front. And the battery. The battery is going to go right here it's really not a big enough battery for this ESC and motor so what I think it might do is actually I've got two of these so what I might do is wire them in parallel put one here and one right here so it'll be 700 mAh 30c but it basically will extend the the run time so I got this sticky putty here we're going to put it around the hatch, around the lid. I'm just going to kind of roll it out. It's, it's to hang pictures with on walls. You know, you hang it up a picture on the wall with it. But I'm just going to put it like where the, where the hatch sits onto the boat. Like a little lip there. Right on the hatch. Like right there. That way when we put the hull, when we put it on the hull, it'll push, push it tight and hopefully water seal it. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. use this guy all right got it on let's see what it sounds like oh sounds good that's plenty of throw look at that don't need a super long servo arm So it seems like it's working pretty good. Let's see how we're gonna do this battery so we don't mess anything up. Adapter under that little lip. Run the battery right there. Yeah, it's gonna be perfect. Alright, let's put the lid on. Does it fit? Yeah. Gotta get it kind of molded. We got that putty in there so we're gonna have to push it down or perfect yeah you see see how it's like pushing this stuff out oh that's gonna be perfect nice yeah movement on our rudder and that works all right so it's out it's nighttime let's just go try it out in the pool I'll bring a flashlight with me all right, so first run, first run. Got power. Hopefully no water gets in. Oh! Let's try it again. It's flipped over up, upside down right now. You see that? I don't hear no water. Oh, we did it. That putty worked. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, that's awesome. You can actually give it a little bit of gas and it, it'll flip itself back over. Oh, well, I can't wait to take it to the pond.
turns good left and right. All right, so I flipped it. Oh, it flipped back over when I give it gas. I was hoping it would do that. Oh, this is cool, y'all. So we'll get rid of some drag on it. We'll, we'll try to get it right. You still see the water all over it, look. All right, so we just came in. I've just come in the house. Let's see if there's any water in it. Look at that. Just a little bit of water, just a teaspoon. Look. All right, so, so I think, so I think if I missed a spot on on my like old battery hatch so i'm gonna go over that one more time make sure that's completely water sealed and i may i may put a little bit of putty in each of these holes right here so when i drive my screws in there it'll kind of like work itself around the screw and help keep water out so man that's cool oh man it's dry as dry can be yesterday i put it in the pool and took off with it and when I made my first first turn, it started to sink. So, so everything's waterproof. That worked because it was full of water yesterday. Oh man, I'm stoked! Blip it, and it'll flip it. <laughs> Blip it and flip it. Working good. Oh my god, there's a frog in the pool. Frog. No, I don't want to hit him. What? Oh, he just got up. <clears throat> it's working. I thought I was hoping it would run in the water. No loop. The motor's working good. The ESC's not shutting off, so the corrosion X must have worked. It looks good in the water. That's yeah, cool. A little speedboat. A little speedboat, huh? It's cool. It's running good. At least he's driving. Made and run. Four knots and no smoke come on. Oh sure. Got some damn got some balls to it. No water. Oh, it worked. That putty worked, y'all. No water in it. No water. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that, that sticky putty for pictures, it might solve a lot of problems with boats, y'all. Might be worth picking up. A little, little stick of it. The rudder's working good. Looks cool on that boat way back there. Oh, speed boat, son. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my niece is showing off now. <laughs> I need some turn fins. <laughs> I can't wait to take it to the pond. I can't wait to take it out to the pond and see what it does. <laughs> gotta adjust the strut. Gotta, gotta tune it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll take it to the pond in the next video. Uh, yeah, yeah, it turned out pretty cool. It turned out pretty cool. So stay tuned for the pond video. We'll take it and see what it does. And a big body of water. Thank you for watching Big B with Ironclad RC, channel where we tinker, test, and tune, everything RC. We'll see you guys next time.